Welcome, yogis. So before we move on to the fifth principle, I thought I'd hold it back one week and play with the third and fourth together for a week, the inner spiral and the outer spiral. You're going to need two blocks for this class, and it's going to be very playful because I'm orientating it around this chap, Han Numan, a very playful monkey god. I'm actually running my next series of classes, which start very soon on this. So there'll be six classes with stories all around um, Hanuman. He's playful. He's also forgetful. He forgets how awesome he is. Just like you and me, we have these moments where we forget how wonderful you are and uh, think that you can't or think that you're less than. And this monkey god is here to remind you that you are so much more than you believe yourself to be sometimes. He's also a wonderful friend. So each of the six weeks, I've got a beautiful story to tell you. So do join me. I'll put the link at the bottom of this in the comments. Also, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Shall we get going? Let's take a comfortable seat. Come to your knees, separate your feet apart. Okay, and pop a cushion or something behind you so that you're, um, as, you, as you're up on your knees here, let your inner thighs go in. Lean forward a bit and stick your booty out, okay? And then you can actually get your hands onto your sit bones and lift and wind them and sit down on your cushion, all right? This will help you in the spiral. And th this is a turning in of the legs, the turning in of the femur bones in the hip sockets. And then start to, you can take your hands like two little mittens and uh, give your, your hips an assist down in the other direction. This is called an outer spiral. And then cough. So cough, <coughs> that will lift your pelvic floor and firm all those hips in. So we guess this inner and outer imbalance. All right, bring your hands to your thighs. Flare your toes. There should be no pain in your ankles or knees here. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And as you exhale, try and soften into being here just for half an hour this morning. Soften your inner groins in. And as you, sorry, that's as you exhale, soften in. And then as you inhale, feel the energy draw up your spine. Take your shoulders back like a little bit of inner resolve and again, firm the outer hips down with a little cough. <coughs> Exhale, soften. Inhale, strengthen. And these two aspects play like a little monkey game with each other and we're going to explore those and play with those today. Okay, bring your hands to your heart centre and we'll seal into our lovely monkey playful class today with one om and one round of the Anusara invocation. Okay, take a deep breath in. Om. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Satchitananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tehidya Se Om Take another deep breath in. A long breath out. Bring your hands to your thighs again. Center. If you want to learn that invocation, there's a recording of it here in my, under my profile in Insight Timer. Okay, and then gently come to your knees. Come slowly. You can remove the cushion from underneath your bottom and come onto all fours on your mat. You might want to cat cow your spine, so play with that movement. Inhale, look up, lift your chin, look up. Pretend you've got some nice flowers like I got and look. Sink the back, lift and widen the booty. And then as you exhale, untuck the toes, push back to child's pose. Inhale, come back to all fours and look up. And exhale again, push back to child pose. So movement and play is our game today. Inhale, come up. Look and stretch up. And exhale, push back to child's pose. When you're here, pick up, come up onto your fingertips. Push from the base of your heart, like you can from your heart all the way down your arm bones. Push your fingertips down and away from you. So towards your imaginary flowers. And then exhale, soften. 
and see if that can anchor your booty back a little bit more and bring a bit more length to your spine. Take a deep breath in. Remember, guys, you can come to child's pose like this whenever you want to. Don't force anything. This is meant to be joyous and playful today, okay? Inhale, come back to all fours. Now, spread your hands like a monkey. Really spread them. Really get dexterous and, and claw the mat so the tops of your fingertips go a little bit white. I'll use this later. Then bring your knees underneath your hips. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Walk it through. Sway it. Imagine you had a long monkey tail and sway it right to left a couple of times. Okay, and then inhale, lift your left leg up behind you, bend it at the knee and open up the hip. You can root your right heel down and peek under your armpit. So if you can look towards the ca your camera or something and imagine, let's smile at each other, monkey grin towards each other across the vibes. Lift your left knee a little bit higher, monkeys. And then re-extend that left leg like a tail, stretching back behind you. Again, from your heart, push down your arm bones and see if you can lift a little higher. Exhale, bring the left leg down. Right leg reaches up and back behind you. Again, bend it at the knee, get the knee really high. Look underneath your right armpit and push the left heel as deep into the mat as you can manage. Peek underneath that arm and imagine you're smiling at somebody across the room. Enjoy, take a deep breath in. Again, from your heart, push down those arm bones. See if you can root back a little bit more. Gorgeous. And then re-straighten your right leg like a long, long tail. And then bring it down, downward facing dog. Looking up between your hands, bend your knees. You can either step, hop or fly to the top of your mat. Inhale, unfold halfway. Breathe in your flowers. Exhale, bow deeper. And then inhale, come up. Hanuman is a tall, enormous monkey. So imagine you've got these long monkey arms. Reach and stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Okay? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bow forwards. Bring your monkey fingers down. Inhale, extend halfway again. Breathe in your flowers, aren't these beautiful? Step your left leg back to a lovely big lunge and bring the knee down to the mat. This is really important, this lovely long gap here. So if you haven't got it, wiggle your right foot more forward. Inhale, reach up. This is the pose of Anjane, who is Hanuman's mother. She prayed for a child. And then exhale, bring your hands on the inside edge. So you're just on the fingertips again. And then draw, so imagine your right hip was a pencil and you're drawing big circles with your pencil. So let's warm up and play these hips. About five circles in a clockwise direction and five circles anti-clockwise. Okay. And then lunge into the leg a little bit more. All right, inhale, reach your arms up again. Turn your palms towards each other. That will rotate the arms in a healthy way. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down now either side of that front foot. Flex your toes off the mat, so you're just stamping into the mat with your heel here. And then start to straighten the leg as best you can. Now, it might not go all the way straight, and you potentially could, like I'm doing here, get some blocks and help yourself out so you lift your body a little bit to help you here. Now see how my toes are nicely spread and I lift my bum back. Okay, now bring the blocks on the inside. Turn your toes inward and lift your right butt cheek up. This, this turning of the leg, this is an inner spiral. And then move the block, one block to the right and turn your toes to the right and it'll, the whole leg will turn and it's like you're tucking your right hip under you. That's an outer spiral. Then bring it back to center where the two are in balance. Inhale, look up and exhale. See if you can bow directly over that leg where inner and outer are balanced. Okay, you should feel that in your hamstring, I'm hoping. Alrighty, and then lunge back into your right leg, pop blocks to the side if you're using them. Inhale, reach up, and Janiasana. Exhale, sweep the hands down, spread those monkey fingers, downward facing dog. Walk the legs through, play them, sway your monkey tail. 
Inhale, come forward to a high plank. If you need to use your knees, please do it. Now here, wrap the triceps back. So this is outer spiral as well. This is, I'll show you with this arrow, in this direction, the triceps wrap back. Okay, exhale, lower. Keep wrapping those triceps back towards your waistline as you untuck your toes right on top of the shoelace tops there. Inhale, cobra, with a smile. And exhale, downward facing dog. You ready for the other side? Inhale, lift your left leg up behind you. And then step it up. Remember this space, really, really important. Okay, inhale. And Janayasana, the pose of Hanuman's mum as she prayed for a child. See if you can lunge a bit deeper, you'll feel that in the right hip flexor. And then exhale, bring the hands on the inside edge. All right, this is the hip stir, yeah? Stir, stir your hips. That big pencil, draw the biggest circle you can for five big circles. Okay, and then go in the other direction. You might get pops and crackles, all good fun, all good to wake you up. Those of you on my time zone, it's Saturday morning. Okay, so lunge in to the leg there. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, bring your hands either side and you can use the assistance of a block or not, you don't have to. Okay. My ear pods keep falling out. Lift your left toes off the mat so it's just the heel rooted. Energize it down. Start to straighten this leg as much as you can. Some of you be still bent. Some of you will get it completely straight and come up either onto two blocks like I'm doing or onto your fingertips like that, okay? So the sit bone, you're taking this sit bone all the way back. And now turn the, the toes inwards, turn them to the right. So this butt cheek lifts and the whole leg inner, that's an inner spiral. You can bring both hands or both blocks to the right. And then do the opposite, turn the toes out to the left some movement in the hip that's an outer spiral as you tuck this hips like you're tucking the right hip, left sorry left hip underneath you and then come back to neutral inhale look up exhale bow over that leg still keep pressing the heel down and drawing the energy of it back okie dokie Lovely jubbly, and then bend into the left leg. Step your right foot forward to forward fold. We can ditch the blocks. Inhale, and come on all the way up. Tall, huge presence of this lovely monkey. Exhale, hands to your heart center, and release. Well done. Step your feet wide now, my lovelies. All right, so Really, don't, don't be shy about this. Step them wide. Imagine you had Hanuman's long, long legs and reach out so your ankles should be underneath your wrists here. All right. Now, I'm not going to mirror you. So you turn your right toes to the short edge of your mat. So make sure they're really turned there. And as you bend your knee, your knee tracks over your middle toe. So spread your toes, spread your fingers. And bring your right elbow to your knee. Turn your palm up as if you've got a banana in it. <laughs> okay, bring your left arm up and let's give our shoulders some love. We did it for our hips, didn't we? So we need to do it for our shoulders. Stretch that arm up and over into Parsvakanasana. And then for a moment, peel the hands down to the mat. Creep them forward a little bit. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bow in. Now your back leg, your, this leg, needs to turn inwards but that will make your right hip stick up, your butt stick up. So you need to tuck that under. So this back leg is an inner spiral and the front leg you need to outer spiral. They both need different things like all of us. And there's a play between the two to get you into neutral pelvis. Intricate movement, intricate play. This is a version of Parjva Konasana that I love to play with. Let's walk to the other side, okay? So come up through warrior two. You need to keep all of that act those actions going. Inner spiral of the back leg, outer spiral is it, like your butt cheek tucks under. It makes it hard work. 
straighten the right leg, turn the toes in, turn the left toes out. You ready? Lunge into the leg. Be careful this kneecap tracks over that second toe. These are really important alignment cues. Bring your left elbow down. And let's again give ourselves some right shoulder love now. So circle, circle, circle. And then reach up and over. Pajvakonasana. And we can feel these spirals more. If we just come out of this pose a little bit, bring the fingertips to the floor, okay? And this right leg, turn it in and back. And if you do that a lot, you'll feel that you lose it in your, your left booty. If there was someone behind you, you'd be showing them your bum. All right, so tuck that under. And there's the dance. Can you feel it? There's the play. The monkey fun. There's always more to be had out of these poses. See if you can keep that in balance so your pelvis is central and along this central line. Tuck it under. Come up through warrior two. See if you can keep that in a spiral of the back leg, out a spiral of the front leg, reach your arms up. And these nuances of the poses are what we're going to be going through. In my monkey classes, if you want to join me, just find me on my website. That'd be lovely to have you. Virabhadrasana two. All right, lovely. Straighten the left leg, turn the left toes in, and let's step our feet together. Exhale, everyone doing okay, I hope. Step to the top of your mat. <coughs> I'm gonna play with this again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forwards. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step your left leg back again and bring the, the left knee down to the mat. Okay, so let me show you with my magic arrows here how you're meant to be turning. So you might find yourself turning to the left. So this left leg, see how this arrow, it needs to wrap inward. So you turn your whole hip. This is an inner spiral. And then I'll spin around. What's happening with my right leg is I'm having to wrap this booty under me. Having to wrap that under me. That's an outer spiral. So it doesn't lift. And cr that might crunch you here as well. So wrap it down. Inner spiral of the left leg. Outer spiral of the right leg. Keep that going now, my lovelies, as you start to straighten your right leg more. We did this earlier, didn't we? Okay, now place the toes down, pick up your back knee, see if you can wiggle it back a little bit more, see how I'm squidging it back, and bring that back knee, so you've got a bigger gap. And let's do that again, inner spiral of the back leg, outer spiral of the front, straighten your right leg. Okay. Now, this might be enough for you, but if you want to try with me coming a little bit deeper, make sure you've got some blocks around. And here's a little trick for you. You can fold the top of your mat back so that hopefully now you're on more of a slidey surface. And that's actually gonna help you out, all right? So you come to the, this is half Hanuman. And then as you slide the right foot forward, do this inner spiral first. So that might help you get a bit deeper and then wrap the right hip under you, outer spiral, and slide the foot forward. You might not go as far as I am. Inner spiral, so lean in, and then outer spiral. Your, your back leg might slide back. Now you might have space to maybe slide a block underneath your right hip. I've managed to get all the way to the floor, which is a miracle for me. I don't normally do that. And then inner spiral again, outer spiral, really wrap the right hip under and play with these and it maybe you need to be here and prop a block or maybe you've got a whole stack of books okay this is Hanumanasana gorgeous stay there a breath and then whatever way you can it's not always elegant and um, slide your right leg back okay take out whatever props you're using and come back onto all fours Okay, I'll show you the other, other way around. Now we're gonna do, do the other leg. So step your left leg forward. Bit of a muddle with all the blocks and things. Left leg forward. Okay, 
Wiggle your right knee as far back as you can and start to straighten your left leg. So use your inner spiral. So turn inward. Okay, and then as you turn outward, wrap this hip down and then see if you can slide your left heel a bit more forward. And you might want to use my trick here of rolling back the mat. So slide that forward. My left hip is not as flexible as my right. Okay, so inner spiral. Now you might well stay here and you could use a whole block underneath this sit bone like I'm doing here. This is awesome. You'll be working your hips and your hamstrings. Or come with me, try it again. Play inner spiral, wrap the left hip under, outer spiral. Inner spiral, and you have to play with it a couple of times. Outer spiral, and this is as far as I'm gonna get on my left side, so that's where I'm gonna prop me. That's enough for me. Whatever version of this pose you are in is perfect for you, just as long as you're getting some challenge in your hips and hamstrings. And then stay there for a couple of breaths with a big monkey grin on your face. And if you can't grin, then you've gone too far. You need to be enjoying this. So back off a little bit and laugh about it. Okay, for three. Two more breaths, maybe even sweep your arms up. And then bring your hands down. Probably no elegant way out of this. Slide the left leg back. Come back to all fours. Let's roll our mats back. Okie dokie. Pop up oh, uh, blocks back. Okay, come to all fours. You all all right? Cat, cow. Wish I could speak to you. And then lie down on your tummies, my lovelies. So just in case you've overextended there. Okay. Place your hands on the mat. Release your face down. And then um, float your hands off. Let's realign the spine. So lift up, start to use your back and see if you can lift your legs a little bit, just a, a shalabasana variation to re-strengthen, reintegrate that work on the hamstrings. Okay, lift and smile. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Lift a little bit more. And then release your hands underneath your forehead. Well done. Soften down and breathe. Inhale and exhale. And they're beautiful stories about Hanuman. He's such a colourful God. So in the sixth class series, I'll be telling you all about these lovely stories. Really well done, everyone. Press on to all fours, come on back. Put my mic back on. Okay, and you, if you have time here, you could take yourself down, lie down, and have a lovely shavasana. Otherwise, come back to the position we started in, knees in, feet apart, and a cushion underneath your bottom. It's really important to realize that yoga isn't just about our, our movement and our physical, you know, it's not about looking good in leggings or a tight bum. It's how it makes you feel. So after that movement practice, bring your hands to your thighs, soften behind your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. There's another story about Hanuman where one day he was trying to help Ram and he failed, he, he couldn't, he thought he could do no more. And he sat down like this and he kind of gave up and he put his head in his hands and he said, I can't do this anymore. I give up, I don't want to try, it's too hard. We all get days like this, don't we? And then slowly his friends gently put a hand on his shoulder, gave him a tap and a hug and this feel like I'm giving you a tap and a hug and the other people practicing with us here across the vibes feel their hands on your shoulder and they said Hanuman or Chandra or Samantha Sarah have you forgotten have you forgotten how awesome you are how God-given you are how special you are 
is what yoga does for us. It reminds us of this inner space. So sit in its presence. Let your breath, let me remind you, you are awesome. You've got whatever challenge is facing you. You can do this, Hanuman. Sit just for about five more breaths in this energy. So you take the time to regroup, <coughs> refeel, remember. And then as you step off into your day, step out with the joyful energy of Hanuman, of this memory of this beautiful class. And remember, you are awesome and you've got this. Bring your hands to your heart center and seal in with one beautiful arm. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Namaste.